I have a message for you and the message is be steadfast and immovable in the Lord. This is a message of encouragement that you are supposed to be steadfast and immovable. Whatever thing that has been thrown to you, to your family, to your finances, towards your business, towards your marriage, your relationships, do not lose heart. Be steadfast and immovable. Let your foundation be strong on Jesus Christ. Do not build your foundation on things that will not stand. When the storm comes, let your foundation stand. And if your foundation is on Jesus Christ, one thing that I would like to encourage you is that you will stand. Your building will stand. Brothers and sisters, there are apostles in the scriptures who went through a lot of terrible things. They were persecuted, left for dead, beaten by vipers. They were on a shipwreck. The apostle Paul was on a shipwreck. But he was immovable. Some of them were thrown into jail, prison, in terrible conditions. Stinking places. Places that are not worth to live in as a man of God. Women of God also were done to things that are unspeakable. But they were steadfast. They were immovable in the Lord. They stood on the promises of God. Notice that we have a great cloud of witness. We have a great cloud of witness from Abraham, from Elijah. These men who faced people like Jezebel, but they stood on the promises of God. They knew that God answers by fire. Remember that God is a consuming fire. So everything that is coming up against you will be consumed by fire. It is of no wonder that these three men, by the names of Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego, who were thrown in the burning furnace. Notice that the Babylonians thought that these men were going to die. Just like maybe probably they, they, they were not the first people who were thrown in the burning furnace. But the scripture says that as they were thrown inside the burning furnace, there was a fourth man with them. That man believed to be Jesus. Jesus was with them in the fire. They were not even burnt. The king was surprised. Who, he, in fact, in his heart, he would probably say, Who are these men that even fire does not burn them? God is with you in that fire. The fire may be so hot, but if you can trust God, you will not feel the fire. You will come out strong. The kings of this world who are watching you, some of you may not know that you, there are people who are watching you, they will turn to your God. When they see God bringing you out of that affliction, it will be a testimony. Because notice that there are people who are watching you. Whatever you are going through, some of you are seeing you in that financial problem. Some of you are, see, they are seeing you going through all sorts of court cases. You're trying to bring up this file. You're trying to uh, get... Put together evidence. You're trying to file up for something. People are seeing you. They are watching. And they know who you really are. They know you are a Christian. But when you come out victorious. When they did not expect. They will not surely. You serve a true God. Today's word is from the book of. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15. 50 to 58. 1 Corinthians 15, 50 to 58. And it reads, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery that we shall not all sleep, 
but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory, and death, where is your sting, O Hades? Where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain, in the Lord, be steadfast, immovable. Now the scripture says that our flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. No, thus corruption inherit incorruption. Flesh and blood will not inherit. But brothers and sisters, you have been born again in Christ Jesus. The scripture says, behold, I tell you a mystery. This is a mystery. That even the world cannot comprehend. Even the teachers of the law, some of them cannot comprehend it. Because it's a mystery. It requires wisdom. It requires wisdom from God. The scripture says, we shall not all sleep. Now when the scripture talks about sleeping, it means death. Look at Jesus. When Jesus uh, heard that there was somebody who had died, Jesus said, that person is asleep. Meaning that he had died. That that person was dead. So, sleep is referred to as death. Scripture says, we shall not all sleep. Not everyone is going to die. But the scripture says, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. Now that is rapture. Jesus is coming back very soon, brothers and sisters. For those who are living a life that is not full of God, are now scared. When these messages are being preached to them, they do not want to hear them because they are not living right with God. But if you are living right with God, you will be so happy to hear these messages that the King of Kings, your Master, the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is coming back very soon. Rapture is real. The return of Jesus is very close. And we have to watch. Be sober. Do not be asleep. Do not slumber. Do not be as the world. Do not walk like the world. Do not eat like the world. Though you are in this world, you are not of this world. So do not conform to the pattern of this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind day and night. Now, I love what the scripture says. It says that death shall be swallowed. Death will be swallowed in, up in victory. Everything that has died up in your life, it will be no more. There will be no more death. So brothers and sisters, I have come to encourage you that no matter what you are going through, stand on the promises of God. Be immovable. Just like the apostles. Be encouraged. You see, when David went through a lot of problems, Scripture says, And David encouraged himself in the Lord. This was a king who had people set in front of him to encourage him. But there reached a time when those people were of no use to him. He decided to encourage himself in the Lord. Some of you even wonder why David wrote Psalms, some of the Psalms. He was encouraging himself in the Lord. He was encouraging himself in the Lord. Brothers and sisters, this is the good news that I preach. God loves you so much. And no matter what you're going through, you will be victorious at the end of it. Now until next time, 
שלום.